Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to find the custom field ID here in Jira. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Jira, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Finding the custom field ID in Jira is a straightforward process which is essential for tasks such as creating custom reports, automating workflows, or even integrating with other tools. Now, there are multiple ways for you to find the custom field ID in Jira. One of the best way is to simply find the task that you wanted to look for and then... Now, for example, this is going to be the issue that I wanted to have the custom field ID I wanted. All right, right click on it and select the inspect option. All right. Now, all I'm going to do, once you are in the developer's tool panel, I want you to type in control plus F to find. And of course, type in custom field because you should see the name and the ID of your custom field by clicking on that right it's a long process right here right this is one of the ways all right now the next option is if this is going to be a little bit hard or technical now the next option is a little bit easier because all they're going to do is hover to the issue and go to the filters click view all issues we are going to export to xml all right all right click on that and as you can see the custom field id is just right here at the bottom this is one of the easiest way to find the custom field any number and that is custom field underscore i believe that's a thousand i'm going to uh make it a little bit bigger so you see this is going to be your custom field id now the purpose of getting your custom id field id is that it would help you to automate workflows custom reporting and other programmatic interactions with the jira and of course you can implement jira automation rules or scripts that may require custom field ids to specify conditions actions and triggers based on field values all right and of course when creating custom reports or dashboards that include data from custom fields you simply need these ids and any relevant information accurately all right and i believe that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video